Good morning, Rangers. I'm James Lamson. And I'm Michaela Clark. And this is your Ranger Report for Monday, January 9th. A junior class meeting to plan for 2017 prom will be held in Miss Abbott's room, B212, today, January 9th at 4 p.m. A prom theme will be decided and preparations will begin. The French Cup general membership meeting will take place tomorrow, January 10th, from 4 to 4.30 p.m. in A104. Anyone with interest in French culture is invited to attend. This week is Digital Citizenship Week. Today is Crazy Sock Day, Know Your Digital Footprint. Tomorrow is Neon Day, Highlight Your Sources. Wednesday is Cyber, Cyber Hero Day, Stand Up to Cyberbullying. Thursday is Camouflage Day, You're Never Hidden Online. And Friday is Spirit Day. Always be a responsible digital citizen. And now here's Jaren Garza with a video about your digital footprint. Did you know that there are rules of appropriate and responsible behavior when it comes to the use of technology? This is known as di digital citizenship. This week is Comal ISD's Digital, Digital Citizenship Week. Each day this week, during morning announcements, your librarian will share with you situations or concepts involved with digital, digital citizenship. Look for digital citizenship posters around our school. Today we are focusing on our digital footprint and reputation online. Did you know that when you post online, you create something called a digital footprint? Everything you post online can potentially go out to hundreds, even thousands of people and nothing can per be permanently removed from the internet. Even if you delete it immediately after you post it, someone may have already liked it on Facebook, downloaded it on their phone, tablet, or computer, reposted it, or retweeted it, all, that, all things that keep your post from being completely deleted. Think of your posts as being written in permanent marker. They will never be able to be completely removed. Private information is like toothpaste being squeezed out of a tube. Once it is out of the tube and posted online, you will never be able to squeeze all of those secrets back into the tube. Do you really want perfect strangers to know about, know about you? Everything you post could potentially have a positive or negative impact on your digital footprint. Do you want your posts to help or harm others' image of you? Before posting any comments or images online, ask yourself the following questions. Is this post factual and will others find it helpful or inspiring? How will it make others feel about you or themselves? Is it something that will avoid harming or embarrassing yourself or others? Imagine the adults in your life, your mom, your dad, even your grandma, reading each of your posts. If a post isn't something you would want your parents, your teachers, your grandparents, or other adults to see, don't post it. Tomorrow we will be discussing copyright issues. Wear neon to show that you highlight your sources. Girls Wrestling took 5th place out of 43 teams with Ariana Mendoza in the 185 pound champion and Lindsay Rittman in the 148 pound second place. Boys took 34th out of 43 teams. Girls Soccer lost to Churchill on Saturday 2-0. Boys Soccer lost to Nacogdoches on Saturday 3-1. And on Friday lost to the Woodlands 8-0. And now over to Lauren with the World News. Thank you, Levi. An eyewitness and near victim of a shooting at Fort Lauderdale Airport in Florida managed to survive being shot at by his backpack and laptop that covered his back. Unfortunately, five people were shot dead and eight were wounded in the attack. The bodies of three men who disappeared during a duck hunting trip on the Texas Gulf Coast have been found dead. Their bodies were recovered Saturday in a bay near Corpus Christi. However, it is not immediately clear what led to the men's deaths. And now back to the anchors. Thanks, Lauren. Hey, Michaela. Yeah? You want to hear a joke? Sure. So a man got hit in the head with a can of 7-Up, but it's okay. It's a soft drink. <laughs> I'm Michaela Clark. And I'm James Lampson. Have a rangerific day.